I mean, definitely last year. Uh, I just wanted some key plays, some things he did. Uh, you know, he's scrambling out the pocket, extending plays. So I was just kind of having that back of our head that he's he, he might not do it, he might do it. So just keeping that back of our head and staying on our man throughout the whole play, just playing the whole down. And then you guys talked about eye discipline a lot against Navy. Is that kind of the same this week with their RPO game and everything? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a little different, but I mean, it's both uh, same same type of thing. I mean, like I said, he's going to extend plays, he's going to run around the pocket a lot, so just keeping our eyes on our man throughout the whole time play is going to help us. You talk about his the weapons that he has that you guys will have to actually, that you guys will have to contend with in terms of wide receivers. Just seems like they have so many different guys. How much more of a challenge does that make it when there's that depth factor that they have? Yeah, obviously they got a lot of good receivers. They got some really quick guys, good route runners, and then their back is good as well. Uh, I mean, just one of those things. I mean, every team has a lot of weapons, a lot of depth. So I mean, just kind of just coming into the game, uh, having that back of their head, just that uh, at the end of the day, people are going to make plays, but we tend to make more plays. So just kind of just having that back of their head and just ready to go, no matter who's out there. As a defense, when you go into a game facing the nation's leading offense in terms of scoring. What kind of motivation does that provide in terms of the challenge that is presented to you? Yeah, obviously, uh, it's just a great opportunity for us. I mean, it's a good opportunity for us to showcase what we do, uh, what we're able to do as a defense, and just we want to take on the challenge and just ready for it. It's, it's exciting, naturally. Hey, uh, Xavier, is this team at all, like, not even physically, but mentally or emotionally, the team at this point going to 8 8 uh, I don't think so. I mean, like like I said, I mean, there's a lot of season left. I mean, it's a big time matchup coming up, uh, so we're really excited for that. And like, there's just a lot of football left at the end of the day, so nobody's really fatigued or sad or down about anything. So just just coming to work every day, just having a good mindset. Uh, and facing a team like USC, who's obviously very explosive offensively, getting a win at home is just don't put Ohio State, Louisville in the past, even more than what it is right now. Uh, I mean, I feel like a lot of people have probably moved on from Ohio State, and then obviously uh, Louisville kind of just happened, so we're just kind of moving past that as well. But I feel like this win, obviously, it gave us some good hope, uh, like motivation. It's, like I said, it's an exciting game, so I mean, uh, just kind of just keep, but like, at the end of the day, it's still just one game, so just kind of just moving on from this, that game if we win or lose or whatever happens, so just kind of just going to the next after that. And Coach talked about this being better. Uh, attack man, this is the tackles <coughs> against Louisville and same against Ohio State. What's, how much have you guys keyed in on that? And what's been the process to to become better in that area? Yeah, just I mean, just continue to come to practice and work every day. I mean, at the end of the day, I think it's just one of those things you just kind of just think too much. I mean, personally, I know myself like I feel like I've been just thinking too much. I'm gonna come to tackle, just kind of just just shooting a shot and then translating what you're doing practicing.